I love what my super handsome boss, supervisor, Pastor Bill Cheney says often. He says, Chris, people don't often get saved at the district office. Real ministry happens at the local church. Can I get an amen for that? The numbers are staggering. 83%, write this down. This is important. Type it in your phones. 83% of people who become Christians will do so between the ages of four and 14. We as lead pastors, and I keep saying lead pastors because I hope that you catch this, we have a responsibility to have a ministry to children's, to youth, and to young adults. I wanna ask a question here, and I'm gonna be bold, in, in, uh, and even if, I, even if I look dumb at this point and nobody raised their hands, I wanna be bold and ask this question. Everybody in this room, if you had God do something amazing in your life, whether it was when you were in youth ministry, or whether you were at camp, whether it be salvation, rededication, baptism in the Holy Spirit, call to ministry, or a physical healing. If you as an adult leader in here right now have ever felt God do something amazing in your heart, whether it was in youth ministry or at camp, will you stand up quickly and just stay standing? Stay standing. If you're standing up, you're saying, God has touched my life in youth ministry or at camp. Stay standing. Will you look around this room right now? This is an amazing, staggering thing to see for me up here looking out. I wanna look at you guys in the eyes right now. If you're standing up, you're saying, God did something in you when you were a student, whether it was in a youth group, a children's ministry, a young adults group, or at camp. Foursquare family, it is important that we remember our roots. It is important that we remember our testimony of children's youth and young adult ministry. It's important that we remember our testimony of what God did in our lives at camp. That way we can be great leaders and do the same thing for someone else. Thank you for standing.